hello everybody. Uh, it's a beautiful day today uh, here at YVR. My name is Henry Tenby and this is the Airliners Live show. It's a pop-up show. It's a it's a show that we uh, layer on to our normal show as an extra bonus for you guys just because it's a nice day and uh, we thought we'd give you guys a bit of an extra show. So that's what it is. It is a pop-up show. The weather is beautiful actually it's about seven or eight degrees there's a gentle breeze um, i'm layered up i've got my four layers so i'm super comfortable i've got my gloves with me but i don't know that i'll need them just yet my hands are nice and comfortable and um, yeah i feel real good and of course i'm wearing my airliners live hat t-shirt uh, underneath which you can't see but the hat's here and um, there you go guys uh, we're gonna climb behind the camera and see what comes our way uh, between now and sunset which is about a couple hours from now so hoping we can get a good show in uh, just so everybody knows uh, because of the cold weather our batteries uh, certainly here in Vancouver don't last as long as we uh, we had hoped so we may have to have some more frequent battery changes and I do apologize for that in advance and um, let's have fun let's have fun let's see what comes our way uh, I see some lights out there so let me get behind the camera and we'll start our show guys so thanks for tuning in it's gonna be fun Getting uh, set up here uh, behind the camera, and I think we've, we do have a lander here right now to start the show. So let's get our camera set on him. I can see him. There we are. I can see his lights. try again. Well, our camera's struggling strangely. Uh, I may have to adjust the focus. Change Whatever the setting's on, I'll have to change it because it's not working. So, tech, we have a bit of a technical problem here, guys. And I'll try to get it resolved as quick as we can. right in front of us. As I say, I'll just, once this guy rolls out, I'll um, have a look at our focus. So just bear with me while I do that. Well, actually, I'll do it right now. Excuse me, guys. some 
settings here, which I'm trying to get things fine-tuned. So we do have another aircraft uh, coming in. It's from Edmonton. It's a flare. So I'm just going to see if we can get that. And it is just about here. So let's try the focus, guys, one more time here. So while we bring the camera around, and we've got this flare inbound from Edmonton. Where is it? Right there. Let's see if the focus works a bit better for us on this go around. better I think. Go tight. So this will be a twilight show. We'll, we'll stick it out to twilight. Hopefully we'll get some uh, nice effects as the day bleeds into night. Oh look who's pushing back guys. Eurowings taxing. Eurowings Discover. I guess they're operating a Lufthansa flight today. That's neat. That is really neat. So, hello Gamer2345. We've got Blue Ice. Goofy Noob. Who else have we got here with us? Alex. John Feza. Hi, John. Hope you're doing well. Matt Smith. Uh, Ronnie Middlehurst. Hi, Ronnie. Thank you for joining uh, this evening. Great to see you here. Yaya and Debbie 13. Yeah, did I say Matt Smith? Ollie, Sue Major, Loopy. A lot of the regulars. Great to see you guys all here. And yeah, I actually flew on the, um, uh, uh, Eurowings Discover. Last one was it about two weeks ago when I went to Frankfurt. I flew on them out of Toronto, and um, I used some points and went business class. I was in seat one K. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, it's a, it's a Lufthansa onboard product for those of you that are perhaps not aware. And uh, yeah, overall it was pretty decent. Uh, it's the exact same business class seats as you get on the Lufthansa 747-400. It's about an eight-hour flight from Toronto to Frankfurt. So I, I was pretty comfortable. So, hello, Jane Chu. Doug Robinson is joining us from Edmonton. Not feeling great. I hope you'll feel better tomorrow, Doug. Maybe some runway therapy here in Vancouver might help. I know runway therapy always helps me out some uh, downtime to relax. So yeah, how's everybody doing today? Hello Mr. B out. Yeah, this is the first time I've seen this Eurowings Discover here in Vancouver, so that's kind of neat. Let's see if I can bring on our radio. and the sun moves further to the uh, to the west. So, hello, Salil and Karen Monson, Debbie 13, Paul Wilshire from says good evening from Heathrow. So glad you enjoy the show, Paul. Um, yeah, Vancouver is a bit interesting. It's a bit of a different place. 
Ollie, uh, I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. I'm feeling pretty good. The weather is good here, as you can see. We're, you know, with 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 doing video, um, when we're we're looking south as we are right now, of course, it's better when it's overcast. So then we then we have completely uh, diffused light, and um, we don't have a backlit situation. So. But, you know, there's pros and cons with everything, so... Who's that? Didn't quite catch who that was. Hotel Papa Golf, Vancouver Tower. Hotel Papa Golf, uh, with you, 12402. Uh, it's just coming out of the harbor, flying the Haida, uh, looking for... Uh, heading to the east side of Oakland Island. Float plane coming out of the harbor, so that's that's what that's what he is. Hotel Papa Golf, uh, tower identified. You want to go down south for false spring confirm? Yeah, I said Hotel Papa Golf, clear the two victim transit. Altimeter 3056 identified. Yeah. 3056 Hotel Papa Golf, uh, it'll be loaded out of the two victim transit. Yeah, Hotel, Hotel Papa, Papa Golf. Golf. Actually, you can go direct Steel, then direct Salt Spring now, all at a thousand. Steel is on the Coho transit if you want to look that one up, or I can just give you a heading if you prefer. Uh, heading would be good, and uh, we might have to play with the altitude here a little bit with the flight. Uh, pop it off, Roger. Uh, heading 200 for now, and uh, let me know if you need to uh, descend. 200, uh, hotel pop a uh, We'll probably uh, need to go 500 feet uh, just to see this flight right now. Good, yeah, so that's a float plane he's heading, I think he said to Seashelt, so that's cool. So somebody got their fourth COVID shot? Yeah, I've got mine, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. So somebody's cleared, somebody's cleared for takeoff. Uh, let's see who that is. Uh, who have we got down there? Uh, we've got, uh, I guess it's, maybe it's Eurowings. Uh, or he's already been cleared for takeoff and he's taxing down, so we'll watch for him. So, um, yeah, we're all doing well. The ATC is drilling my ears off. Okay. Turn direct, uh, midpoint still. Traffic at uh, Point Atkinson, opposite direction, the V Star helicopter, uh, descending to 500 feet. So pass just off your left. Okay, yeah, looking for that, direct midpoint. Uh, uh, yeah, I just like to look Glad you guys can hear it. I did 907, sorry, let's turn it. Yeah. Busy radios, guys. Busy radios. So, yeah. Hi, Jane. Jane Chu is here. Nice to see you here. And uh, we've got a, a, a WestJet 787 lover in the house. Yeah, WestJet 787 is a nice machine. It's always good to see here. And what do we... I'll just give you guys... While we're waiting, I'll just give you guys a little bit of a tour here on our uh, the terminal building. Let's see what we've got. Oh, there's a little aircraft taking on the other taking off on the other side. What have we got here guys? We've got a uh, Aeromex Aeronavis to Mex I call them Aeronavis. See I'm stuck in the sixties. Aeromexico uh, Max is at the gate. Being prepped for departure. So yeah, and what else? Uh, Peter Piotr is uh, joining us from a wet Warrington. And uh, let's have a look here. Sim Flight Pro UK is from Liverpool. Excellent. I'm glad you're chilling, relaxing this evening. And as I say, I think we we just have to you know put in a little bit of time here until we get some some action. But we have on the on the south side. We've got three aircraft piled up for departure. We've got the uh, Eurowings heading to Frankfurt, and behind him we've got a, the Montreal uh, Toronto Air Canada 118. And we've then got behind that. Through to the other side, right?
right about there. So yeah, so Euro Wings is first on deck, guys. Hello, Buzz at 69. Glad you do your best. heard that a, a Canjet cargo is called in for the uh, 26 left. We're on 26 right. So that's kind of a, a bummer, but you know, say la vie, not much we can do about it. But uh, anyhow, Eurowings is now turning on to the active. And uh, hey, hotel, the golf, left, heading, uh, one, five, zero. we'll wait for him right hey, one, here. Canjet there coming in, and I can see him as well, so he's got to start rolling. This is dicey. This is dicey. I, I'm not going to be surprised if uh, Canjet uh, or Cargo Jet has to do a go around because this is very, very close. Cargo Jet's. Guys, we need Eurojet to bust a move. This is, yeah, they're, they're cutting it short here. Come on, come on. There it is. They did it. Oh, look at the contrail coming off the wingtip. Oh, that's cool. That's neat. Very cool. Very cool, guys. Oh yeah. Love it. Love it. That's gone now. Bit of, e you know, into the ether. And cargo jet's going to roll out here momentarily, right here. Cargo jet landing because I was panning the uh, uh, the 330 there taking off. So I think it was an okay sacrifice because we got to see the contrail coming off the wingtip, which was kind of nice. So I can hear the thrust okay, reversers now okay. on cargo jet. Right, runway 31, contact ground 217. Nice day. Thank you very much for the one pound forty nine donation. I really appreciate that. Thanks, Ronnie. So where is the cargo jet? I wonder if he took if he landed early. Yeah, well, when you hit me, contact first for airborne quick takeoff. Then we two six months. There he is. So Air Canada is now cleared. There's our one one six tower cockpit jet box delta seven lineup runway two six months. Delta lineup two six months. Push jet one one six. Every six three zero five. Nothing observed. Ahead change on route frequencies. Let's wait for uh, for Air Canada. Three thirty. I can hear it. I can hear the uh, buzz saw. I can hear the engines screaming for vengeance. Presenting very shortly. See the birds? See that flock of birds there? Holy moly, look at that. That is a lot of birds. I hope that Air Canada. Oh, okay. I was focused on the birds and I missed the Air Canada. Stupid me. I was focused on the avian. Versus the aluminium birds. Well, anyhow, 
I, I'm glad because I thought that Air Canada was going to take off into the birds, which it didn't. So, where's our cargo jet? I think it's taxing. Yeah, right there. And, um, yeah. And we're just going to have to wait for the sun to kind of calm down a bit. And they're pushing back a CRJ as well. Yeah, next is, that's right, next is the WestJet heading to Calgary. Thank you, Thompson River Rail fan. So... Westjet 116, Scotch Turtle, it's 5 Trail Heavy, contact the Perch River and clear takeoff, runway 26 left. Speak of the day. Clear takeoff, 26 left, Westjet 116. Jazz 99 Tower at Delta 7, a line up, a runway 26 left. So we'll wait for the WestJet. Yeah, the Air Canada was up early, obviously, and I missed it. Oh, here comes WestJet. Yes, sir. Good exit. Morning Star. I don't see WestJet. There he is. Kind of. No contrails. No contrails on him, unfortunately. Oh well. Oh well, guys. Um, battery's at 83%, so battery seems to be... Morning Star 7092, click a land, runway 26 left. Another 26 left arrival. So I'm, I'm sorry guys, they're bringing the arrivals in on the south side as well, so we're, we're not batting a very good average here yet. Hopefully it'll change. They're just bringing everything in on the other side, so... That's why this is a pop-up show, right? Who knows, who knows what we're going to get, right? Could be good, could be mediocre, so we'll just have to see. Yeah, Mike, the weather's okay. Um, you know, it's about 7, 8 degrees. Uh, I'm not cold. It's nice and clear. They're calling for clear weather for the next several days anyhow, so, um, yeah, that's, that's good. And where's, there's the, uh, there's that, uh, Morningstar 757. What a shame it's not coming in on this side, though. It's, it is what it is. How's Aero Mexico doing? Six one one tower at Charlie lineup runway two six left. Pull ahead just a little bit. I'd like to line someone up behind. Six one one tower. Yeah, watch. Zero four tower at Delta seven lineup runway two six left. Number two to depart after the uh, King Air from Charlie. Yeah, they've got a lot of aircraft piled up for departure on the south side. Five star seven zero nine two. Echo is also good if you can make it. Hotel is not good. So, you want to be patient, guys. Uh, something's rolling. Uh, what is it? Well, the morning stars. We've got a Q400. We've got one, two, three Q400s in a row after the morning star uh, vacates the runway. So the morning star. Uh, I don't know if he'll taxi down this far enough for us to see him or not. 
Kind of, we'll just have to wait. Play it by. Six one one contact. Departure one clear. Takeoff runway two six left. Clear takeoff. Two six left. Departure one clear. There you go. Q four hundred. The first of three uh, Q four hundreds guys uh, heading our way. Yes, Cindy, the trees around the airport are kind of neat. They're, they're actually in Richmond on the other side of the river. There's a river that runs in between the airport and those trees. So they're on the other side of the river. So, yeah, those trees right there. They're actually off airport. So, yeah, uh, we've got a max taxing out here. I'll go, there goes the little one that we were just talking about. That, that, this thing, King Air. S804, contact, front airborne, clear takeoff, runway 26 left. Clear takeoff, 26 left, S804, parking here today. Another, another one, I think this is a Q4. Speed, restriction cancel, at Delta 7, line up, runway 26 left. I think this is a Q400, maybe. I'll be watching for it, guys. So, um, yes, there's that's right, Eggpex. There's also a seaplane terminal on the river as well. So, um, so Cindy, Cindy says 14 degrees Celsius. Yeah, I have heard in the UK uh, that it's quite warm, and the nighttime lows you guys are having are also around 12 or 14 degrees. So it's Super warm for you guys. Yeah, Encore. So it's WestJet that's coming up. Yeah, there's... Hang on. Yeah. Oh, missed that one. So, yeah. Yeah, so we've got... Uh, let's see. Yeah, WestJet's next. Heading to Prince George. Then we've got a uh, Air Canada Max yeah, to Edmonton. Then we've got the FedEx taxiing into here, which we're not going to see. And then we've got a Air Canada Jazz CRJ departing. But unfortunately, we don't have any arrivals. Our runway is barren uh, for the time being. So. He's wobbling. Quite a bit of wobble on him. Seems like they're just completely ignoring this runway. Where we are, it's like all traffic is on the south side. So... Well, as I say, I'm going to stick it out here for the next couple hours until the sun goes down. So um, I really can't tell you guys if we're going to get lucky or not. Um, but I'm, I'm going to be here. So it's kind of up to you guys. Where's this guy going? Let's have a look at the flight radar, see if we can figure this out. So this guy's going to Los Angeles. It's the Air Canada 554. So... That's him. There's another. Check on 240, contact departure airborne from Delta 7, crew for takeoff, runway 26 left. Biz Jet. Yeah. So. Charles 192, Delta 7, line up runway 26 left. What else have we got here? So, thank you, Eggpex Q400 from Victoria coming in on our side. Appreciate that. So, we finally get a lander here. Finally. Finally. Yeah, we've been patient enough. Quick 
one two one turn your caution, turbulence preceding seven thirty seven rotated at runway three one early turn approved safe two six zero seven from Charlie Group for takeoff from two six left. We have approved and from Valley 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 Valley
Yeah, lucky devils. It's 20 degrees Celsius in Los Angeles today, I believe. So they're having some real nice weather. So, oh darn. Well, thanks for telling me, Thompson River. Coming in, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes, Papa Kilo. Yeah, it's just for whatever reason they're keeping the traffic off this runway. And there's no reason for it. I mean, not that I can see. I don't see any work being done. And uh, I missed that. That was too quick. Off to Los Angeles. Contrail. Oh, okay. I think they're getting very close to pushing back our uh, Mexican friends. Let's get our Mexican pushback. We'll wait for these guys. I think they're just about ready. Pull the blocks, so must be cool. Okay, I'll be here. Uh, so Sue Major says British Airways is an hour is in one hour. Yeah, I'll be here. I'll be here. Absolutely. So I'll blow a gasket if he goes to the south side, though. But yeah, I'll be here. Okay, wing walkers are in position. The the bridge is pulled. And come on, guys, let's pull the chocks. Or have they pulled the chocks? I can't quite see if, they, if there's chocks in place or, or not. I think not. And I think we're ready to push it back. Uh, 7110, please, if you can carry that starting further south than you at uh, midfield. From Delta 5, good for takeoff and 126 left. For takeoff, 26 left. Here, Vanna Flake has. Uh, Yes, a decent livery on the ROM. I keep, as I say, I, I'm stuck in the 60s, so I, I call this guy Aero Navis. So here we go. We do have an arrival on our side, guys, finally. It's a Q400, of course, from Kelowna. So um, I'll, we'll move the camera around to get the landing. If it's so Kelowna inbound. Okay. We'll just, oops, sorry, we'll just move the camera. We'll get our Kelowna. There's our Kelowna. Moscow 8256, speed cancelled. This from Charlie, clear for takeoff from I-26 left. Moscow 8256, going to need a minute to pull me in the back there. Moscow 8256, roger hold, sir. I-26 left, advise ready. I don't know how long that building is left. Moscow 8256, roger hold, sir. Moscow 8256, roger Okay, they're pushing the Mexican back. Let's go get it, guys. Interesting cloud formations there. Kind of look like UFOs. I'll show it to you guys again here in a second. There's like mines in the sky. Hey, thank you, Karen. 
I try not to make you guys too busy, uh, too dizzy, nauseous, right? Try to. I want, I, you know, I want you to be comfortable yeah, when you're watching the streams. Yes, Operation Photography. You'll, you should definitely uh, plan to plan to visit. Okay. Well, they they kind of were gonna go. Can we get three hundred for three ten? Oh, sorry, three ten, three hundred. Well, my battery is at sixty six percent, guys. Just so you know, I'm on top of it. Come on. Don't be shy. You guys can uh, push the Boeing. Sounds like a board game. Okay. Yeah. Indeed, Owen. It's 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 a neat livery. Five, five, four, ready to go on Delta five, ten thousand four hundred seven feet from there. So. We see this all the time on our uh, pop-up shows here. A little cargo hauler. Little Cessna caravan, looking cute. Okay, go back to our Mexico. Here on Mexico. Oh. Four years old, Peter. Thank you for telling us. Okay, so Eggpex says we've got Air North from Whitehorse in 15 minutes. And God willing, he will come to this side for us. That would be amazing. That would be really amazing, guys. So, I mean, you guys have seen this, you know, my streams from here before. So, there, we have been rewarded with, with nice stuff in the past. So... I guess, as I say, uh, I'm here. Uh, it's, I'm only half an hour into the show, so it's only... What time is it now? It's 2... Four, okay, 40 minutes. It's 2.38. So we're 38 minutes into the show. I'm going to be here probably for another two two hours, depending on the light, of course. So, um... Oh, okay. Well, here we've got a... We've got a, um... Taxi United Airlines 2009 heading to Los Angeles. It's coming our way. Where is it? There it is. Heading to LA. Looks nice. This is 737-800. Notice how small the engines are compared to a Max. Huge difference in, in engine diameter. Novices, Aero Mexico is pushing. I think. 
they certainly they took their time. No, 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 actually not, not guys, so Hello, Wallet 100. Wallet says I'm from Manitoba, visiting Vancouver. You can come and keep me company. Um, yeah, right now I'm okay, actually. Uh, but, I mean, obviously it's a free airport. You can certainly, um, you know, you're certainly welcome anywhere. But right now I'm just kind of uh, in, my, uh, in my groove, in my pattern, in my flow. So... Uh, but yeah, you're certainly welcome to come out here and take photos and video. It's uh, there's a lot of room for everybody, so by all means. Still no movement on the Aero on the Aero Mexico. Hmm. I mean, you wonder what what's going on with that uh, Aero Mexico flight because they've pulled the bridge and it's just kind of sitting there. I'll show it to you guys again. Um, they're they're just. I mean, I guess they're dealing with something. We've seen that before. We have seen that before, but. Um, I mean, the wing walkers are in position, but yeah, not too much, eh? Not too much is happening there. Yeah, I'm in the zone. I'm just relaxed. I'm just chilling. I've, you know, I'm, I'm with you guys, but I'm also just, you know, out here in the elements and at one with Mother Nature. Uh, oh, we've got a lander, guys. We finally have a lander. It's uh, coming in. It's right here. It's a corporate bird, so I'll move the camera around for our corporate bird. That's landing right here. There it is. See it? Yeah. Okay. Fine. Yeah, I'm happy. Delta 4683, tower 6 feet, cancel from Delta 5, good for takeoff from Winter 6 5, stay with me. Uh, 6 feet, cancel, then clear takeoff by 2 6 left at Delta 5, pass go 4683. London Drugs, London Air Service. This is the Canadian version of Boots. Is their corporate hack? Based, based here. Yeah, this flies pretty much every day. I guess they take company executives between their various stores, various locations throughout British Columbia and Alberta. And it is hangared here in Vancouver on the south side. So it is a regular, it's a Vancouver regular. We, we see it all the time. Okay, the Mexican aircraft is now pushing back. So, uh, let's see, the light on it is actually really good. So let's, let's go and get that, guys. Finally! Pasco 4683, contact departure 126 hunting. 126 Pasco 4683. Off to Mexico City. That's a, quite a flight. I think it's like a six hour flight. Five hours anyhow. Quite a long flight. And look at the size of the engines. 
compared to an 800. They're massive. Really, really big engines there. Well, this is nice. Nice to see. By the way, our battery is at 57%. We have two zero zero nine on Travis four traffic off the departure and the runway report the turn with me on the Georgia six departure from Delta seven crew for takeoff from my two six left. So now it's three ninety two thousand nine Delta seven with takeoff two six left. Three ninety two thousand nine affirmative and stay with me report the turn on the Georgia six. Nine two thousand nine. Two six left, Delta seven, we'll go. Let's see if I can zoom in here as much as I can. Something like that. We can watch them disconnect. Yeah. Well, that makes sense. If they okay, they push back slower because it takes longer to start the engines up. Yeah, I can believe that larger diameter. They have more real estate to cover as they spin around their chambers. Wow. And there they are. We'll start to hear engines any minute here, guys. Oh, somebody... Sue saw a blue heron? Okay. Good. If you did, that's amazing. Or this is the blue heron. This is the blue heron, maybe. Maybe that's what you mean. So. Yeah, they're just doing their stuff. Yeah. I can hear the engines spooling up. Okay, a dumb question. Colder weather, does it take any longer to, to, for the engines to warm up? Um, I'm going to say no. Uh, I remember when I worked in Yellowknife, uh, we operated 737-200s. We'd have to warm the, ca warm the cabin up, but I remember once those engines are started... Uh, I, I do know, I recall that uh, sometimes we would just have like a very short taxi onto the uh, runway and power up and go, like minimal taxi. So I don't think they have to sit with the uh, turbines running. Uh, once they're at, once you're at, I don't know, certain EPR temperatures, the airplane's good to go. So uh, the fact that it's minus 30 or minus 42 outside, I don't think makes much of a difference. Uh, I'm not a professional pilot, so uh, I'm speaking from my observational experience when I lived in a region which had bitterly cold temperatures. So I believe that um, once the engine temperatures are, are at required levels, they can actually hit those throttles and go. out nicely for us. Taxiing with determination. We don't have any... Yeah, I've got a lander as well on this side. What is that? Uh, I might have to let the Aero Mexico go out of frame. Let's see what it is. Give me a second, guys. Let's see if I can figure out what's coming in here. It's Air North. It's Air North. So he's coming in our side. Uh, at least I know what it is. And I'm watching it. So we're going to get the Air North coming in here. Air North. 
thing. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get the air north, guys. Excellent, excellent. Yes, Loopy. We got her, Loopy. I'm going to move the camera around now. Slowly. Easy does it. For air north. And uh, we're not panicked. We're not panicked. We're not, we're not going nuts. We're just uh, slowly getting into position here. And you guys can see him now. You can see those landing lights. There we go. really good guys huh. he did it nicely nice and gentle right beautiful rollout nice speed he allowed me to track him really nice so that was good I feel good about it actually hope you guys enjoyed it as well we've got another lander coming our way it's from Edmonton it's an Air Canada 20, 245 it's a max so we're just gonna slowly bring our camera around and get ready, get in a good and ready position for our max. Our battery is at 50%. So. And you'd also say you'd be ready to turn back at Yeah, and now with Crest 180 for here. You'd also say to consider that heading, I'll have it in just over a mile for your first place. Max is just about here, guys. Just about here. Good for you, Egg Packs. That sounds like a great deal. 40 bucks. I'll go nice and tight. There we go. are doing nice landings for us they're doing them nice and perfect so that we can see them nicely I love it just love it 
Yeah, this is what we were waiting for, guys. subject but at least we had a uh, quality presentation by being on this runway as opposed to the other runway well, hope you guys were happy with that I mean I, again I know it's not a super rare airplane but it was nice See the water in the background, and uh, the landmass in the background is Vancouver Island. We've, we've got another lander coming our way, guys. It's from 320. It's the Air Canada 217. So I'm going to gently take our camera around. In a second, I'll take the camera around so we can film that. Yeah, so this other aircraft, this A320 from Calgary. The uh, 217, Air Canada 217, is going to be landing soon. We've got a United there pushing back. So, uh, Mushta, this video actually was not an hour ago. It might have been a different one of our videos, but I'm doing this live, so... Yeah, it could not have been an hour ago, unless somebody's created time travel, and I'm not aware of it. So, no, this is, if you're watching right now, this is live. This is live. But we've been filming here many times, so maybe you watched one of our other videos from the past. Let's, I'm going to go tight. I am going to go tight. There we go. fartsy silhouette there. Doesn't look too terrible, actually. Forty-four percent on the battery, which is pretty decent. And we've got a Q400 landing here, guys. I'll bring the camera around, hopefully just in time to catch him, because that was fast and furious. Okay, 
the tower, wind 2707, clear take off, cross runway 26 left direct the tower. Well, it's going to check the flight radar because yeah, we've got we've got several landers here, guys. So. I'm actually not, I don't have time to check the flight radar. Uh, because I need to film this. It's a jet. So, um, yeah, no time to, no time to check it right now. West jet, obviously. Guys, we have another lander. I'm going to check my flight radar. See what it is. It's cargo jet, guys. Holy moly. It is cargo jet. Yikes. We've got cargo jet coming in on this side with a 767. It is our lucky day. Oh my goodness. All quiet on the set. I'm going to film this. Guys, that was really, really cool.
Wow. Well, we've got something else coming in on this side. Uh, let me just check our flight radar. That was uh, that was the highlight of the day, no question about it. So, our next arrival is a Delta Embraer. It's the flight 3832 coming in from Seattle, from SeaTac Airport. And uh, I'll just bring the camera around. And by the way, the battery's at 39%, so we are still pretty good. We're in decent shape for battery. Collapse is not imminent. And uh, five, line up runway left. Just pull ahead a little bit. The dash eight will line up right behind you. We'll get the uh, this uh, Embraer. Okay. There we go, guys. Hello, Gemma Gemma Row. Operation uh, Photography. Okay, you can stay there. There's no one behind you. Let me know when you figure out what you need to do. Thank you. Jazz 157 Tower, are you ready? Jazz 157 is ready. Jazz 157 Tower, speed restriction cancelled. Contact departure, everyone from Delta 7, clear takeoff, runway 26 left. Delta 7, clear takeoff, 26 left, approach in the air, Jazz Nicer. I mean, it's still a bit silhouetted, but it is just getting nicer and nicer. Uh, we've got an artistic component here, which I kind of like. It's a bit different, isn't it? I was going to see if... Yeah, we got another lander here, guys. From San Francisco. It's an Air Canada Max. It's the 567... So I'm just going to, again, bring our camera gently around. Battery's at 36%, if anybody's curious. And... There we are. Nice wing flex. We'll go tight. See guys, we just had to wait a little bit. We just had to put a little bit of time in, and uh, we got rewarded. We got it. We got some nice stuff. I'm pretty pretty happy with, with you know the action that finally came back to this runway. Yippee! side. Uh, we've got a FedEx heading out and we've got, uh, what else, maybe a Q400, I think. Something like that. Uh, tower, winds 2707, your traffic's a uh, H1900, rolling down runway 26 left, advise the site. Okay, here's our max, that just landed. 
Was a 69. Thank you very much for the 99 pent uh, donation. That was very kind of you. Much appreciate that. Here's the Beach, Beach 1900 departing. And. But there's a helicopter buzzing across the field right now. Again, buzz of 69, thank you for the 99 pence. And Andy, thank you for the 99 pence as well. Appreciate that. And Steve Barnes gifted one Airliners Live membership. That's very kind and generous of you, Steve. Thank you very much. Yeah. So our, our luck kind of changed, guys. So that's pretty cool. That is pretty neat. So, hello, Nigel Bradley. And what else have we got here? Hello, Eye Trapper. Great to see you here, Eye Trapper. I hope you're doing well. I'm just trying to think of what news I read. Um, I guess the biggest aviation news of late out of Canada is that the Canadian government has granted a um, an open skies almost between Canada and India. So airlines can operate as many frequencies as they want. Uh, it was con it was highly constrained up until now, but uh, uh, the Canadian government has said that uh, not only Air Canada but uh, other airlines can uh, enter that market and fly to basically their heart's content. So that was a uh, that was the major news here in Canada: the opening up of the uh, restrictions that were placed on the amount of capacity between Canada and India. So that's that's big news. I wonder if WestJet will start flying their Dreamliners to India. That would be a fun flight. Thank you. Yeah. So uh, I'm I'm trying to think. I mean, there's really not too many other airlines that have the uh, lift capability to provide a sched service between Canada and India. Uh, well, Air India, of course, they are already in the marketplace with their triples. We've seen them many times. Air Canada, uh, you know, they have Toronto and Vancouver, Delhi. Uh, they can increase those frequencies now, and I'm sure, I'm sure other companies may enter the, the the mix. Maybe some Indian companies. That would be interesting. But who in India? Which airlines in India, other than Air India, have the long haul uh, equipment to serve Canada? I don't think any of them, to be honest. Uh, Jet Airways, do they exist? I don't know that they're still in business. Maybe they are, uh, and I, I, uh, I'm sorry for my ignorance, but I'm thinking, yeah, only Jet Airways, if they still exist, would have the uh, wide body capability to serve Canada. So we'll have to see. Hey, Paul, thank you very much for that four pound, 49 pence donation. I very much appreciate it. Thank you so much, Paul. And Peter. Peter Piotr. Thank you very much for the two-pound donation. Peter says, I always enjoy the Vancouver show. Thank you. Job done well. Yeah, I do my best. Do my best. So thank you very much, Peter. It's much appreciated. And yeah, again, John Feza, Andy, I think we've covered those. Oh, actually, yeah, John Feza, 99 pence. And Andy gifted um, an Airliners Live membership too. Andy, thank you very much. That is mega appreciated to all of you. So, my battery's at 20, 29%, so I'm watching it like a fiend. Uh, we had a battery collapse at 25% on our show last week, so if we have a battery collapse 
uh, don't go away. I'll, I'll get the battery changed right away. So yeah, just just FYI on that. FYI on that. So I'm just gonna make an adjustment here. Bear with me, guys, for a second. Hang on. I'm just checking our. I can get it to 20%. Um, again, I just, you know, want to be watching this pretty carefully. So if, you, if all of a sudden we drop our signal, it just means that I've had a, a battery collapse. So just be aware, guys. Yeah. So Chris... Uh, Skapalu says Vis Vistara are an airline from India, the 787. Okay. Well, they'd be very welcome here in Vancouver, I can tell you that. By yours truly, and I'm sure all you guys too, would love to see them here. guy's going. I'm just going to see if I can figure that out. Uh, this guy's heading to Toronto. He's the Air Canada 12037, heading to Toronto. Zoom in maybe a bit more here. Ooh, look at that, guys. Flare. Beauty. Nice. Up into the ether. And Air Canada is now starting engines here for their Toronto flight. Right about there. There we go. They're disconnecting. So, it says, uh, Hen Henry, there's a heron on that small grass area. You guys see it. I don't. Isn't that amazing? I don't see a heron, but I'm sure glad you guys see it. Um, yeah, that's nice. They, they are out here. So, that's cool. Battery's at 26%, guys. We're in dangerous country here with 26% uh, battery. So, uh, again, if we have a battery collapse, I will change the battery very quickly. So just just know I'm here. I'm, I'm watching it. I'm going to see if I can take it down to 20. So, yeah, Smoky Engines. Is that the name of a band? Smoky Engines, yeah. <laughs> So, it's waiting. 25%. Oh, we've got a heavy coming, guys, I think. Yikes. Maybe I should do a battery. Ch well, it's not a heavy. It's uh, Air Canada 553 from Los Angeles. Uh, you know what? I'm going to see if I can get this uh, max landing, and then we can do our battery change. Let's just see if I can make it happen for us. Look at the smoke. Did you guys see that? Yeah, you, you must. You guys must have seen that smoke come off uh, the port side engine. So again, we've got a Max coming in for landing. It's the Air Canada 553. And I'm going to try and f film it. And then I'll do our battery change. So that's, that's the plan. That's the plan, guys. That's the plan, Stan. 
So, I'm going to move the camera around. Oh, thank you, Eggpex. Air Canada uh, is in from Heathrow in 20 minutes. So let's get this, this aircraft landing here, guys. Let's just see if I can pull this amazing feet off. There we go. Oh, battery's collapsing, battery's collapsing. Let's see if I can just get the grease onto the tarmac there. And battery change. We're gonna do the battery change. Bear with me, guys. The battery's collapsing like right now. So, bear with me. So we're gonna do the battery change. So, uh, stand by, stand by, guys. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, and one. Into uh, the scene with our uh, new battery in place, 100%. Thanks, guys. That's okay. I mean, we missed the rollout on that max, but that's not the end of the world. We have, we'll survive that. So we're back. We're back in business, making sure all my cables are pushed in so we haven't dropped any signals. Can, I think you guys can hear me. Hello, Carwin Davies from New Zealand. Yes. Thank you for that, Carl. Yes. Nice to see you here with us. I guess you're just waking up. Good morning, Carwin Davies. Transport 951, So... Uh, let's see what we've got coming in here, guys. We've got a Air Canada 111 coming in from Toronto. It's a Max setting up here. So, uh, oh, it's 10.30 in Sydney. Okay, right on. Right on. Yeah, we're reloaded, guys. So bringing the camera around for our next landing. Is, as I said, it's a max. It's uh, Air Canada Flight 111 from Toronto. Okay, let's get this. The lights starting to favor us now. There it is. You guys can see it. And we're set up. We're good. We're golden.
Another nice arrival for us, guys. Another nice arrival. side of the field so yeah so you guys are talking about uh, Speedberg 26 left so that means British Airways is going in on the other side which is unfortunate yeah that's that's a bummer it's actually bizarre that they're gonna bring him in on uh, 26 left because uh, he's gonna have to taxi over to this side so for them to bring him in on that side and then waste all the gas and fuel and time uh, to bring him over to this side seems a bit uh, like a, not a very doesn't seem ideal, but I guess that is what it is. So, okay. Uh, Let's just see if I can see anything on my flight radar. Uh, yeah, I do see it, actually, the Heathrow. Uh, uh, this is Air Canada 787. It's the uh, 861, actually. And uh, he, I think he's going to land on this side. It looks like he's coming in on our, our runway here. I think. I think. So we'll have to see. Yeah, so it's Air Canada 861 from Heathrow. It's a 787. Dreamliner. I'm dreaming for him to come into this side. So, yes, Loopy. Be good. Yeah, you guys are seeing a heron. I'm, I'm, I'm glad to hear that. But again, I certainly don't see it. So, that's the beauty of this camera. Isn't that amazing? Uh, no aircraft in sight. We've got all empty gates. Look at that. It's all empty. And it's, all these gates are empty. So empty. It's all empty here, guys. Believe it or not. YVR is an empty airport. So all look at all that. Bridge after bridge that is empty. But anyhow, let's get this uh, this Air Canada Max now. Not Max, Dreamliner. That's setting up here for us. There it is. I'll film it so I'll be quiet on set.
Thanks, guys. I was doing a video, so <laughs> that was a that was a cool video. So I'm sorry about that. He's gonna taxi in. Yeah, there we go. That's what I thought. got a lander here guys I'll just bring the camera around I didn't take my camera or my eyes off the camera because I was filming that but uh, let's we'll, we'll see what this is Papa Mike Papa Mike off the traffic 1230 and three miles north on Beaver at 300 surveillance surface terminated clear on I'll bring all the next time for a while Back to Italia North uh, 559 holding short two left on Delta Fulton. different. We have another lander coming here, guys. 
was going to consult my uh, Flight Radar 24 to uh, see what it actually is. So, excuse me for a second. So, what we have coming in is from Montreal. It's an Air Canada uh, 305, and it's a it's an A220 or C series, as I call them. So, uh, yeah, Golden Hour. That's it. Yeah, we've got Golden Hour coming. I can feel it in my bones. So, yeah, I love Golden Hour. So we're getting to Golden Hour, and it's only it's only 3:30, 3:37 local time, guys. So let's have a look here. There it is, C series. I'll film it because it's a bit different. something special about that airplane. The windows are just looking very different and unique. They're quite large windows. And uh, the way they're outlined it just has a neat look. engine detail it's a bit different it's like it's really a 21st century looking airplane very modern looking it's like nothing else I mean I, I, I it doesn't have an Airbus look to it it's just it is Canadian. It's 100% Canadian. Well, I don't know about the engines. The airplane is 100% Canadian. I don't know what component of the engines are made in Canada, but... Yeah, I want to get one, too. Is it a requirement for Canada to have the window shades open? I... Uh, good question. I think that's... Uh, it might be a requirement, but whether the flight attendants uh, on all flights enforce it, I don't know. I think it is a requirement, so maybe, who knows, maybe the passengers were out of line and didn't listen to the flight attendant, something like that, I'm guessing. So we've got a lander, guys, uh, it's a, um, let's have a look at what it is, it's coming from Winnipeg, it's the WestJet 449, it's a 737-800, and it's coming our way. I'll move the camera around in a bit. So our battery's at 76%. And thank you, Thompson River, for that. Mr. Tech is 50% Canadian. 
And did you guys know I'm 50% English? My dad uh, was born in London, England, and my mom is Canadian, so I'm a 50-50 mix too, believe it or not. And I have a British passport. I'm a British citizen, I'm proud to say. Yeah, my dad is, uh, and half my family uh, are in England. My dad is from London. He immigrated here in 1956. He's been here a while. And he is, um, yeah, he's doing fine. So anyhow, we've got this lander. This is our West Jet. There it is. coming in on this side in a bit so how are you guys doing hello Kyle Lee and Steven confirms window shades must be open during takeoff and landing hello from Kauai Aloha hope you're doing well in Kauai you probably have the same amount of Sun as us but the temperature is about a hundred percent warmer Yeah, it's, as the sun's going down, I can actually feel it getting a little cooler. But again, I'm, I'm layered up. I've got four layers, so my uh, I'm not going to be cold. Golden hour is coming. You can see there's a wind, the wind sock is moving, or not the wind sock, whatever you call that propeller there, the wind propeller. Oh, we've got some high cloud that's moving in. Darn it. I, I want to get some nice golden light here. There's our wind sock in the background. Right there. Yeah, it's got, it's got some lift to it. Okay, let me just move our camera. I'm just going to put the camera on the Air Canada 787 at the gate while I take care of some admin things. Namely, I'm going to put the battery that just collapsed into a battery charger. So let's watch them do the uh, baggage offload here. And I will put one of this battery that collapsed right into this little battery recharger so it can start charging, just in case. There we go. That's wonderful. Okay. <clears throat> That's good. Oh, what can I tell you guys? Well, here's the Q400. I told you that a Q400 is coming, and it is here. So, let's move the camera slowly. And there it is. We can go tight. Why not? Nice puff of smoke. 
smoke. And he's riding high. Nice. Woof. Look at that. Styling. There we go. Brings the nose down. Positive contact with the surface. Bites down. So guys, if you're interested in the history of Air Canada, this year marks the 85th anniversary of Air Canada. Air Canada started operations as TCA, Trans-Canada Airlines, in 1937. And 85 years is quite an accomplishment for an airline in this day and age. So, to mark uh, the 85th anniversary, I did my own little celebration of Air Canada's 85th anniversary on my own YouTube channel. So if you head over to my channel, or you can make a note of it and do it later, just go to my Jetflix TV channel. And the most recent video, which was from yesterday, is called Air Canada 85 Years, The Story and the Models. So I'm a model collector. I, I collect professional travel agent display models. And it's a one-hour show in which I chart the history of Air Canada and Trans-Canada Airlines. And I use the models in my collection, the professional vintage models uh, from the 50s and 60s and 70s and 80s to tell the story of Air Canada and their fleet evolution. So check it out. I'd be happy to uh, see your comments over there. I know some of you, uh, I know the beer guy who's a local... Uh, viewer uh, here at Airliners Live and watches uh, our Vancouver shows. He was in on the uh, on the live stream yesterday. So thank you, Beer Guy, for showing up and watching that. But for those of you that didn't see it, please check it out. I'd appreciate your comments. And if you're interested in Air Canada's history, you will learn something. I can guarantee you that. So there you go. Uh, let's check our flight radar to see what is happening in the uh, approach area here at YVR. See if we've got anything coming our way. Uh, lots of things buzzing about. I can see that we have a WestJet 715 coming from Toronto. It's going to be our next arrival in a bit. So that's a little bit, of, it's maybe about 10 minutes away. So uh, Dave Dave says, I miss Canada. And Wes Westbrook, I have postcards of Trans Canada Air and Viscount Air. Yeah, Viscount and Vanguard. Yeah, yeah, those postcards. Uh, I have them too. Um, Air Can or TCA made those postcards. They're nice. They're very very nice. And uh, I've I've actually got several TCA Vanguard and Viscount postcards. Some were airport or airport postcards, and some were airline issues. So they're neat. And in my video, you'll see that I have some really cool wall posters from the 1950s and 1960s behind me as I do as I present my uh, uh, my models and you'll see there's a TCA Viscount and a TCA Vanguard and uh, some other stuff Air Canada DC8 Air Canada DC9 they're neat you know neat posters black nose posters with the uh, the aircraft with the black noses so that's yeah neat stuff so check it out but um, yeah I'm a real Air Canada and Trans Canada Airline fan. Because uh, it's my home country airline, and I grew up flying on Air Canada, and I tell some interesting stories uh, that you might, uh, you might be able to relate to as well. So, yeah. Uh, Elisa B says, Thank you for the sunset stream today from lovely Vancouver. It's my pleasure. It is my pleasure. Uh, I'm hoping that, you know, the light will get nice and golden for us. I'm sure it will. So, um, it's only 3.51, and sunset is in about half an hour, I think. So, um, we've got a little bit of time to get some golden, uh, golden hour light. So, it should be good. It should be good. And you know what? I'll, I'll try pushing it, because... 
Uh, when aircraft are taxing around and the lights of the terminal building come on, it looks really beautiful. So I hope we might be able to do it. And I'm only parked about, you know, one minute walk from my car. So um, we'll see what we can do. But isn't that amazing how quick the days are, are getting, are getting uh, shorter? It's incredible. So what's happening here? There we go there. Offloading all that cargo from from England, from Heathrow. You know, as I say, our next arrival is a WestJet. It's a WestJet 715. It's a baby 37. I guess it's a 737-600, is it? Yeah, 700. It's a, it's a WestJet 737-700 coming from Toronto. So, yeah, I hope you guys are all doing well. I know it's late in England now, so... Um, but we obviously won't be going too much more than half an hour, 40 minutes, because, um, yeah, I can't be packing my stuff up in pitch black, so, but we'll, we'll see, as I say, definitely, I, I think I'm good for another half hour, probably, I'm safely good for another half hour, Eggpex says there's a Trans-Canada Airlines Viscount 700 preserved at the BC Aviation Museum in Victoria, it was immaculate when you visited, when he visited in 2019, yeah, I've seen it too, uh, it was a while ago as well, but they've done a great job. And that Viscount used to be here in Vancouver for decades and decades. And um, I almost bought that airplane. Uh, it's a story for another day. But yeah, I almost purchased that aircraft. And uh, it's true. Yeah. They were giving it away in 1982. And uh, I was young, dumb, and stupid. <laughs> Uh, and, uh, but yeah, it was for sale. Glad I didn't buy it. Anyhow, Andy says uh, we have a Turkish A350 coming in. Less than half an hour. Good. So hopefully we'll be able to get that as we push the outer envelope here with our golden hour um, show. 28 minutes according to Chris Scapolo. Excellent. So, um... Uh, yeah, Jeremy Huang says, yeah, sunset already in Vancouver. Well, uh, this, I'm at the airport, and uh, as I can see, the, the sun is about 15 degrees off the horizon right now. So we've probably got about 15, 20 minutes until it actually dips below. So, And then I've got another 15 minutes probably until it's you know really quite dark. Yeah, yeah, I'm mad. I nearly bought the airplane. It was advertised for sale in the newspaper, and I was in grade 12, and... Uh, I went out with a friend to have a look at it. It was owned by a creditor. It used to be operated by Harrison Airways. And uh, they had folded some years prior, and the airport wanted it off the property. And it was. I went to have a look at it. And I've actually got pictures of myself during the... I went and they, they let me inspect the aircraft. And I've got some pictures. Maybe I'll try and... I can sh try and share them or make a YouTube video on it about that story because I, I did take a lot of pictures when I inspected the aircraft so but as I say it's a good thing I never bought it because what would I have done with it my mum wouldn't have been happy and my dad wouldn't have wanted to give the money to pay for it so uh, yeah parents wouldn't have supported that um, you imagine a Viscount in the backyard um, <laughs> yeah oh thank you Rachel I'm glad you watched uh, I'm glad you shot, saw the show. That's awesome. Thank you very much. I'm thrilled you were able to watch that. Okay, so here we go, go guys. Here's the WestJet coming in. I'll move the camera around. It's, it's just about here. Sorry about that. I was busy yattering away. See that? We're getting some golden white here. Wow.
So, yeah. There, you can see the light. We've, the sun's still at about, what? I don't know, 20 degrees. I'm not going to point the camera into it, but that gives you an idea of what we're up against. We've got a bit of time. Bit of time. We've got another lander, guys. We've got another lander coming our way. It is uh, from Las Vegas. It's the WestJet 1789. I'll gently bring the camera around. Gently bring the air, the air, uh, the WestJet around for us here. There, you can kind of see where the sun is. Battery's at 50%. So we should be okay. Giving you guys a tour of the birds. Not that I can see them, but maybe you guys can. You can certainly hear the birds. They're chirping away nicely. So, okay. It's WestJet time. <clears throat> okay. There it is. I was filming it, guys, so sorry about the artistic effect there. I just wanted to get the uh, the aircraft taxing out of frame so the, the video clip would, would be nice. So, yeah, we share. We'll, we'll, you know, post the clips. Andy and Martin will work through them and eventually get them out. So we have another lander, guys, so I'm just going to move the camera around pretty quick so I can at least have a glance at my Flight Radar 24 to see what it is and get the camera in position pretty quick so because it's coming fast and furious and this is it's a flare it's a flare inbound from Toronto it's the uh, flare 81223 and he's about to flare believe it or not
Sorry again. Again, I did the uh, the artistic flair because I'm for golden hour trying to do some videos. We, we may release some, you know, golden hour clips. So, thank you for your patience and understanding, guys. I do appreciate it. Wow. But we we're gonna get golden hour. I know it for sure. Yeah, Pauline, I like the livery too. It's very cool. I'm hyped for it too, Andy. <laughs> yeah, we talked about it, right? Getting the clips. So yeah, Andy and I, um, we had a conversation about you know trying to get some some clips of Golden Hour, so that we can you know make some videos and and share those clips in our social media. So um, that's kind of top of mind right now as well. We've got another aircraft landing, and I'm wondering if it's British Airways. So, I'm just going to have a quick gander at my... No, it's a Q400, actually. So, no panic. It's coming from Kelowna. It's a WestJet 3327. So, uh, I'll just slowly... Slowly bring the camera around. Yeah, the birds are out, aren't they? I hear lots of birds chirping around me. So, they're enjoying it, too. They're enjoying the show, and they get to see the show all day long. So anyhow, the battery's at 40%. And my battery on my scanner kind of collapsed, so that's why you haven't heard the uh, house radios. So that's okay. That's okay. We can have a little bit of a break from that. That's not a problem. And there is our Q400. Let's see if I can get any more life out of the battery. No. How's everybody doing? How is everybody doing? Thank you for that cute seal. Thank you for the heads up. Annette Pope says, I should be asleep as it's late, but you're enjoying the show. Well, I appreciate that. You will be able to go, you will be able to, go to sleep soon, though, because uh, the light's going to bleed off pretty quick for us. The sun is quite low now on the horizon. Yeah. Let's see, let's see what else have we got here. What else did I miss anything from you guys while I was filming? Just want to make sure I didn't miss any interesting comments. I don't think I did. Don't think I did, guys, so... Yeah, hello, Will Zanata from Brazil. Bom dia. And, uh... Oh, that's right. Yes, Airliners Live is on, on a clear path for 200,000 uh, subscribers. We only just hit 100,000 a very short while ago. So we're rapidly building our our uh, uh, our sights on 200,000. I'm sure we're going to be there pretty soon. So anyhow, Kelowna flight is a 3327 WestJet is now setting up on approach. I'm going to bring the camera around. And we'll film it. Where is that? It's right here. You can see the lights changing qu quite dramatically for us. OK. 
2400. doing pretty okay um, we're, you know it's a good decent uh, weather so I'm comfortable I've got my layers on they're doing a runway inspection right here by the way uh, you'll see the truck in a second there he is Vancouver operations there's a golden light So, um, geez, I'm hoping British Airways can show up for us. That would be really neat. That would be a nice treat for us. But yeah, uh, it's what t what's the time? It's 4.10. So the sun will probably set in about 10 minutes. My battery's at 33%. You know what, guys? I'm wondering if I should change the battery now just because there's nothing happening and I won't have to have the um, you know the chance of us having a battery collapse while we've got something neat happening so give me a second let's just do this on our own terms without uh, having to worry about missing something neat so just give me a second here So again, we're going to do a battery change right now, uh, so just 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. We're back, we're back, so yeah, I'm so glad we did that, so glad we did that guys, we're back to 100% with our new battery, that's good, that is great, and um, yeah, stop. We're just at the ready. Yeah, yeah. I, was, I wasn't so fast just because. Um, yeah, I just, there's no panic, right? There's there's nothing that we are going to be missing right now. So I just figured, yeah, well, just wanted to get that done. The sun is getting low, really low now. So even when the sun actually sets, we'll have about ten or fifteen minutes of, of some magic light. If we can get some aircraft movements, it would be awesome. So, um, Andy's going to Dallas-Fort Worth next week. That's right. Holy smokes. Yeah, we talked about that. Yeah, you guys have a fantastic trip, Andy. I can't wait to hear about it. I know you're going to have fun. Uh, we talked about that uh, when we were visiting Andy and Sam and Martin uh, when we were in Manchester back in September. So look how quick this is upon us. Holy kadoodle. That is incredible. You, yeah, you guys are off to the States. That is going to be fantastic. That is going to be amazing. So, yeah. Well, 
again, I'm looking at the flight radar, and I'm just hoping that we get something cool coming our way. Oh, hey, I see it. I see it. Turkish Airlines. It's getting cooler. Um, Turkish Airlines Flight 70, 7, 75 in from Istanbul. It's going to be here pretty quick. So we're going to... And I see his lights. Oh, gosh. Oh, I'm excited. Turkish Airlines. Wonderful. Çok güzel. Çok super. For those of our Turkish friends, Hoşgal Deniz. Welcome to the show. I don't think we have anybody from Turkey watching us right now because they're all sleeping. But just in case, it never hurts to uh, say Hoşgaldenes to any of our Turkish viewers. And I'm bringing the camera around just so we have it in position. I'm going to film this guy. So once I uh, turn the camera on, I'll be all quiet on set. And... Oh wow, this is going to be nice. I think we're in. Oh look at look at look at the mountain. Mount Baker just started to pop. Beauty, beautiful. And I see the landing lights of our. Oh yeah. Okay, all quiet on set. We're filming. Wow, that was amazing, guys. But look at the sun. The sun is kind of behind the clouds. Fuddle double. Yeah, the, the, and see the sun is actually behind cloud as you can see, so, which is a bummer. Would have been better without the cloud. But at least we got to see it.
see more landing lights in the horizon. So I'm just going to see what that is. It's a Q400, so I'm just going to keep our cap camera on the uh, on the 787. Guys, I have a huge hawk. This hawk just landed on my head. I don't know if you guys can see it, but a hawk. Oh my goodness, I've never had that happen in my life. There is a hawk flying around here, and I, I'm under an umbrella, and he landed right on top of me. I'm very sorry about that, but it just. It was unbelievable. He's right there. This bird, he landed right on my head. Right now. Sorry about that, guys, but this is just spectacular. Wow. Wow. Okay. Uh, I'm gobsmacked. Sorry. I was unbelievable. I couldn't believe. I thought he was going to fly right into the camera. He landed right on top of my umbrella. He was standing uh, six inches from my head, and then he took off. So he came to say hello. Wow, guys. Wow. That is incredible. I'm enjoying it immensely. Yeah, that was a T1 Hawk. 10B1. Incredible. Yeah. I don't know. Um, I mean, it's just one of those things that, you know, never, it's never happened, you know, in, the, in, in, in all my life that a bird has basically come and landed on my head. A wild bird, a hawk no less, and then put on a little air show at the same time. So, yeah, just so neat. 
I mean, you guys were talking about birds and herons and whatnot, and then um, one presented itself. So that's so cool. So the sun is now kind of going down, but I'm still going to hang out a bit because I can get things packed up pretty quick. So, um, I can get, yeah, definitely get stuff packed up fast. So, um, I'm just going to see what else we've got coming our way. Yeah, squat code, exactly. Uh, let's just see. Let's looking at our flight radar to see. Yeah, well, we do have a uh, Palm Springs arrival, WestJet coming in. But no, Br British Airways is still ways away, I guess, unfortunately. Um... I'll just have to, you know, see how it goes, because again, I'm about, it takes me about 10 minutes to get things packed up, and I can see my car, it's a couple hundred feet away, so we'll just, we'll just see how far I can push this uh, show, guys. Uh, Hayden J. Robin says it was an owl, really? Well, if it was an owl, that's even more special, because um, hawks, I think, are... There's more hawks around than owls, so the fact that it was owl, amazing. Mark Johnson said it was a short-eared owl. They hunt in daylight, but it's now getting dark, so maybe he's... who knows? Yeah. But it was a cool animal. Hello, ERB. Uh, Aldrian says, can you spot the landing of the PAL 777 after 5? I don't think so. No, because in half an hour it'll be pitch black. But as I say, I'll hang out here for a bit. We'll see what I can do over the next 10 minutes and 50, or maybe 15 minutes. We'll see. And um, we'll just have to see, right? Uh, but, you know, when it gets... The, the nighttime filming is nice because the, the terminal lights up in the background there. And it just looks so cool. So let's see. Let's just see how things go. Uh, we've got a Q400 coming in after this uh, Palm Springs, so that's that's after that. Actually, I can put my umbrella away. I don't need the umbrella to attract another bird to land on my head. So, let's do that right now. There we go. So here comes this Palm Springs. It's uh, setting up. I'll move the camera around in a second. Okay, I can move it around now, guys. There we go. Okay, so here's Palm Springs. WestJet, 1723, right there. There we go. Uh, the next aircraft is this Q400. 
uh, coming in from Nanaimo, Cassidy Airport, Nanaimo. And um, I can see his landing lights. So I'll move the camera around for that. Yeah, we, the uh, just because of those clouds, we didn't get much in the way of a golden, golden light, unfortunately. So there's a bit of golden light. There's a little bit there. So. Yeah, here's this Q400. Quickly move the camera around for you guys. There it is, you can see the landing lights. Terminal lights are starting to come on. So I'm just going to see what else we've got coming in here. We've got a San Diego arrival. It's an Air Canada Jazz. Air Canada Jazz. RJ, it's the Air Canada 8765. So that's that's our next arrival. Um, Cute Seal says Q400 did two go rounds at Nanaimo and then returned to Vancouver. Huh, I wonder what that was about. Oh, okay. Fog. Yeah, I can believe it. I can, we had a lot of fog here in Vancouver this morning. Actually, it was pea soup. So. Um, yeah, it is the season for, for fog and pea soup and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, Some of you have headed tonight uh, to bed. That's all good. You know, wishing, wishing you guys a good, good sleep over in the UK. Uh, we'll, we'll be about uh, seven hours, eight hours behind you. And um, I'm not too much of, an, of a panic just because, um, the tra you know, it's traffic. So this is, you know, rush hour traffic kind of for the next half hour anyhow. So I'm not in a rush. Uh, I'm comfortable. I don't have any weather issues to contend with. My fingers aren't uh, chilled. Uh, I've got my four layers on. I can be packed up pretty quick. So overall, pretty good. Uh, yeah, hey, Matt says it's starting to get foggy in Manchester as well. Yeah. Yeah, it is the season. Definitely the season uh, for, for the fog. And uh, I'm just looking at our arrival board. We've got another Q400 after the uh, uh, after the uh, the first one here. So the San Diego. So yeah, as I say, I mean the light will get neat as it starts to get dark. It's just I wish we had some you know neat stuff taxing around for you. But yeah, if that's right, cute seal. If you guys. Um, well, or Lisa B, if you guys could hit the thumbs up, uh, that would be amazing. You know, thumbs up is always appreciated, and subscribe, yeah, yeah. Broken record time, but you guys know the routine. Um, but you can see how the light's getting interesting, isn't it? Um, okay, I'll move the camera around for this RJ that's landing here now. It's kind of right here. There it is. Oh, look at the contrails. Nice. Nice stuff. So he bites down into the runway. Pops the buckets. Spoilers are up.
Nice Reggie. Jan. Yeah, the reversers are out and deployed. You can see them right there. And we've got another lander, guys. It's a Q400, so quickly, I'll bring the camera around. Just, uh, yeah, he's actually down just because I couldn't bring it around quick enough. So, but look, you'll catch the rollout here. see landing lights so um, let's see what that is it's coming in from Calgary it's an Air Canada E320 it's a 221 and then I even see landing lights behind that as well so but this is what I was telling you guys about the the lights in the terminal building starting to light up nicely so Okay, so behind that we've got, um, but behind the Calgary, oh, it's a Q400. Of, oh no, it's not. It's a Dash 8. It's a Dash 8. It's Central Mountain Air coming in from Dee's Lake. If he lands here, that'll be really nice because that's, that's, you know, uh, charter machines. So to catch him landing here, it's a bit of a treat, guys. So I hope you're enjoying it. Um, how's, how are you guys doing? Hope you're doing well. Um, okay, um, is that one? Okay, uh, let's have a look here. Okay, we're starting to get some golden light, actually. This is now, we're, we're starting to get some gold. And uh, move the camera around.
Very, very cool. Netherlander, guys. This is, I guess, is guess, I guess this is good as we're gonna get for golden light because the sun is down. We've got residual light. It's dark in the east. The camera is, of course, doing wonders by by allowing me to film here right now. Here's that one I was telling you about. Dash 8 100, and we've got another lander here. So, let's see if I can get it. to the next lander. Mm, where is it? Let's see if I can find it. I lost it? Yeah, I guess I lost it. Uh, huh. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, there it is. It's a little Beach 1900. Cargo bird. And we've got another lander coming in. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, I'm glad you're enjoying it, Carl. Uh, this is kind of what we waited for, isn't it? This, 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 this light, this special, you know, the last 15, 20 minutes of the show in this amazing light. So uh, what we've got now landing is a Q400. It's from Seattle. And... Um, Okay, uh, Annette's heading to sleep. Good, good night, Annette. Thank you for joining us. Uh, it was great you were able to be here, and you have a good evening. You sleep well. For all of you guys that were joining us and are heading to sleep, uh, sleep well, and I hope you've all enjoyed the show. We don't have too much longer to go, actually.
Yeah, the light's getting really quite special. But nothing landing other than Q400s, unfortunately. And I've maybe got five more minutes to go here. Something like that. Before I will have to start packing my gear. Well, uh, I'm just looking at the chat. Uh, who have we got still with us? Paul Zhongs, uh, Jeremy Huang, uh, Operation Photography, and that we'll see you tomorrow. And Matt Smith, uh, Salamala Alternate Channel from Pasadena, excellent. Uh, Forbes Watson. Well, thank you guys for hanging out. Um, I still see there's 287 of us watching the show. So that's not nothing. Um, and uh, the local time here in Vancouver is 4.46. And the sun is definitely down. I'm getting some amazing sunset now, guys. Unbelievable sunset. It's spectacular. Um, I just wish that we had some neat aircraft, but uh, it's not to be um, right now. We just don't have any landers coming our way that are spectacular, really. Um, no, nothing. Nothing at all. Uh, Manila, I see that. Uh, that's probably too far away because he's got to do quite a bit of maneuvering to, uh, to get to us. We've got a Q400 um, that's coming our way. What's the weather like? Yeah, it's getting cool. It's maybe about four or five degrees. A little bit of a wind, but uh, not not too bad. Uh, how long is the drive home? <sighs> 20 minutes. Something like that. But again, the longer I wait, the less the traffic is, right? It's 447, so it just gets shorter and shorter the longer I wait here. But of course, it's more difficult for me to pack my gear because it gets dark. So, um, we'll see. Uh, we'll, just, we'll just have to play it by ear. As I say, maybe a few more minutes. Um, thank you, Sue. You have a good night. Thanks for joining the show. Uh, thank you, Nigel. I think we got another lander. So let's, let's get this Q400. Look at, look at the golden light there, guys. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that beautiful? Okay, here, we've got a lander. You can see the pink, pink sky, the pink sky, and here's our Q400. You can see it right there. Birds. Him. 
So guys, I'm just thinking, um, yeah, dry dock, what a, what a day for surprise guests. You had the owl, uh, and you had a whale shark. Oh my, yeah, incredible. You had a veg, yeah, they're vegetarians, aren't they? You had a whale shark come by your dive boat. Isn't that incredible? Hey, my pleasure, Wayne. I'm glad you were able to hang out here with us for the show today, for our pop-up show. And it's been fun. It's been fun. Um, I'm still looking for um, the Philippine Airlines. I'm just wondering, I'm just kind of debating here whether I... I can see he's going to turn... He's turning base now. Yeah, he's coming through 2,800 feet at this particular moment. Um, I can't actually get the uh, exact ETA, ETA to refresh. Uh, I don't know if you guys can pull up an ETA on him. He's just turned base, so I might just wait here. Thank you, Paul. Paul Zhang says he's first time here and impressed. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Um, I, you know, we just want to give you guys as good a show as we can. Um, good night, Carl. Uh, you'll be able to watch the end of the show tomorrow morning when you wake up. Uh, my pleasure, Wayne. Um, I think I might just see if I can push it because I do see landing lights now. I see landing lights, and I think it is okay. The landing lights, first of all, is the Air Canada 599 from Santa Ana, and then behind that we've got our Philippine Airlines. So guys, you know what? I'm going to push it. I'm going to wait uh, for that as best I can. And um, I think I can do it. I think I can do it. Uh, yeah, why not? Do I'll do my best. So let's just give it a try. We'll wait here. I can actually start putting some of my gear away while we're hanging out here. Just save me a bit of time. Just packing some of the stuff that I can pack now. Why not? Why not? Why not? So... Starting to break things down so you can hear me puttering about. That's me. That is me. Hope you guys are well. This is just the last few minutes of the show, guys. I'm going to try and stick it out for Philippine Airlines. So what? What? What the heck, right? You only live once, so might as well give it your best shot. Might as well. Might as well. Yeah. Okay. So here comes the Air Canada. Uh, first of all, so let's get that. I'm gonna bring the camera around, guys. I got some stuff packed up there while we were just chatting. Ooh, look at the light, beauty. It is stunning. Stunning. Okay. Oh, we got landing lights. This is nighttime videography, guys. Philippine Airlines actually guys so wow the 
camera is doing an amazing job compensating and Philippine Airlines is next so I'm bringing the camera around I'm gonna film it so I won't talk uh, wow 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 there it is there it is Guys, I'll make it quick. It's been a fun time. It's a good time. It was a good show. Um, I've got about 10 minutes to get my gear put away. I think I'm up to the challenge. I look forward to seeing you guys in a couple days from my regular Vancouver show. You've been watching Airliners Live. Uh, this is Vancouver International Airport. We're on runway 26 right north side. My name is Henry Tenby. Thanks for tuning in, guys. If you're watching from the UK and Europe, good night. Sleep well. Sweet dreams. And to those of you in our, uh, uh, our, from our viewers in Australia, New Zealand, South Pacific. Good morning, have a great day. And to those of you in North America, thanks for watching, have a good evening. We'll see everybody next time. Thanks everybody, all the best, take care. Bye-bye.